Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. A lot's happened since the last video in round nine of the Amra Motor City Off-Road Championship Series. First of all, the standings has me in seventh place, which is pretty damn good, I think, for my first time racing. Ryan Dungey won his fourth Supercross title, and then he retired. KTM released the fuel injected two strokes, but it only looks like we're gonna get a 250 here in the United States. I was hoping for the 300. Oh, and I've decided to sell my bike. Well, it's been a very busy couple of months for me, so I haven't really been able to ride as much as I'd like to. What's got me so busy? Well, I just decided to finish another semester of school, full-time work, and I decided to put that drone to work and start my own drone business. I got my first job shooting construction sites not too long ago. If any of you guys got any interest in the drone stuff, I'm gonna be making some videos about the drone and I'm going to start another channel where I will teach instruction on how to fly a drone safely, how to pass the FAA commercial exam, the part 107 exam, uh, maybe some other things, but I don't wanna mix that with the Joe Rockstar stuff. Meanwhile, I decided to make a big change, put the 500 and the Honda CRF250L up for sale. If anybody's interested, as of filming this video, obviously still on the market. After doing a lot of soul searching, I've decided that barring a serious injury or financial ruin, I'm definitely going to race the next season of Amra. When my riding's been getting better, I think I could be more competitive if I just had a little bit of a lighter bike. A little less power out there on those tight single track trails. Now this baby, I love it and it moves across the open desert. But it is difficult to handle in the turns, and it's a lot of work with the deceleration and acceleration and constantly back, moving back and forth. You are doing a lot of movement on this 500 when you're doing single track work. And I think it would help me turn a little bit tighter if I get myself on a smaller bike. Now some of the smaller bikes I've been looking at are the 300 XCW or XC, the 350 XCFW, and I finally kind of settled on this one, the TW200. Just kidding. Uh, that was taken this weekend when I helped a friend go pick up uh, a bike that she bought out in Tucson. Well, obviously I haven't had any luck selling the bikes yet. And if I can't sell them, then I will show up on the starting line, the first race next year on the 500 AXC. I will race no matter what. Now, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. It hasn't been all work and no fun. I have gotten a couple of chances to get out and ride and have a lot of fun. Out in Marana, and just recently, I rode up China Pass again. This time I have the drone with me. Speaking of drones, it's quite a challenge to ride and manage getting drone shots for these videos. It is a valuable piece of gear and so I try to minimize carrying it through difficult terrain. And even though it has this cool backpack, I try not to carry it around too far when I'm out riding the trails, especially over the hard and difficult stuff. It would really suck to have a rough get off on my bike and fall on my back. This pack wouldn't do a whole lot to protect that drone. So usually I ride to a spot, launch it in its sketchy follow me mode. And then I ride around for a bit while it automatically captures some video. Hopefully not of itself crashing into a rock or a tree. After about 15 minutes, the battery gets low and I have to land it. And if I'm not in the spot where I launched it from, I'm gonna have to hide it somewhere and retrieve it later after I go back and get the backpack. I made it about a third of the way up with the drone and got some footage and took it back down to the truck. Then I started back up the pass again. All right, so we're starting our climb up to China Pass. It's been about a year since I've gone all the way to the top. And by the time I got to the toughest parts of the climb, I was pretty exhausted. have to come out of race mode a little bit here. Take it easy. So I'm by myself today and uh, no reason to act like an idiot. Be stuck on the side of this mountain with no help in sight because uh, there's no help in sight. Nice little drop off there. We don't want to go off of that. And I gotta make sure I don't wear myself out too soon. We've gone 
got a long way to go. I still had my share of problems and the terrain was no less intimidating a year after the last time I went up that pass. However, getting to the top this time was much easier. When I first rode out here, man, I thought these rocks were just ridiculously big and foreboding. Now, they're not that bad, but they still make Make me a little nervous, I guess, because I clench the bars really tight when I'm going through them, which is exhausting. Gotta, gotta relax, loosen up, stay loose through this ride. I got a worse than this. It doesn't, it doesn't even phase me, but this thing, it's the lead up coming up to it. But you got all kinds of boulders and rocks. You can't get a run, and then your back tire is in all this loose rock. So you try to go off to the left here. This used to be a little smoother, and I kind of overestimated uh, how much the bike would stick to this wall, and it basically just slid down as I was coming towards it. I ended up down here without enough momentum to go up. There is no, no traction here. Then I probably have to build myself a little ramp. Help with making wrong turns. What did I just find? Holy crap. Look at that. Whoa. That's insane. Looks like this whole wall collapsed in there. Probably a bad idea to have me stand right at the edge of it. This is the only time I've ever wished my bike was shorter. So tall, it's hard to reach the ground. Had a nice day chilling at the track. Instead, I'm up here. It's fun, but it's so tough. Sap the strength right out of here.
think I held my breath all the way up that. Yep, here we are. Amazing, amazing views from up here. Southern Arizona's got uh, some nice stuff to it too. It's just few far between like this. This is just unbelievable. That's where I came in, way down there through that pass. But I can't sit up here all day because all day is just about over. I need to get home. I'm hungry. Now, the following week, uh, I decided to bring a couple of friends to follow me up in a side-by-side, -side, hoping maybe they could get some really good footage, maybe help fly the drone. Uh, but that didn't work out as planned. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We ended up having some technical difficulties. I continue to ride and get better every time. And I have some exciting video projects in the works. I know a few of you would like some maintenance videos and I'll be completing some pretty soon. I have a lot of footage, I just haven't had time to edit it yet. I also have plans to do more gear reviews and some destination rides. As always, you guys are the best. Thanks for liking, thanks for sharing these videos, thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching. Keep on rocking and I'll see you next time.